Someone has published on Facebook on the channel Excel Trick a very interesting situation where you have here in the first column one, two, four, six, and so on, and column B two, three, four, five. Okay, and what he expects at the end is to match each column, but so when you have nothing, you just put a dash. But also, for instance, there is no seven in both colon, and here you have dash. So, how is it possible to solve this? Well, my solution is to use Power Query. And as you can see here in this workbook, I have in first colon exactly the same value, colon two exactly the same, and my result, it's exactly what the guy wants. And I show you how I did that. I restart from scratch. So, okay. Here is my data, and these data are not yet in tables. And it's very important when you work with Power Query to load this data in table. So how do you do that? Insert table. My table has either yes, and the second one, it's exactly the same. Insert table. And I just change the color to visualize that it's two different tables. Perfect. So now what I have to do is to load these two tables inside Power Query. And how to do that? It's very simple. You go to Data, From, Table or Range, like this. Close and load, but I just want to keep the connection only, create only connection, like this. So we can see that my Table 6 is just in connection only, and I do exactly the same thing for the first column. close and load. Okay, so I have two queries. Each one is for each table, nothing else. But now I'm going to create a new query from scratch with a blank query. Here, what I need to do is to create a list between 1 and 15. 15 is the maximum value. So equal, I open a bracket like this one. I press 1 dot dot 15. So what does it mean? When you press enter, you are going to generate a list between 1 and 15 automatically with this function. Very simple. Now what I want to do, so I'm in the transform tab, I want to transform that to table. No separator, just a value. Okay, very easy. And now what I need to do is to merge this list of data with the two previous queries, this one. So the very first one is to create merge queries. So I merge this column with table 5, just like that. And I press OK. So I have a new table. I press OK here. And as you can see, I have here 1, 2, 4, 6, 5 is missing, it's just a problem of sort, but I will solve that at the end. But so you can see that each time the value is found, I return the value, otherwise it's null. And I do the same for the second query. So one more time, merge query. This time still focus on the very first column, first column where I have all the values. Now this time it's table 6. So I click here on column 2. OK, one more time. I press OK here, I sort on this column, and you can see that I have 1, null, 2, 2, null, 3, and so on, and for 7 I have null, null, perfect. Right click here, remove, I have exactly the result expect at the end, close and load this time, no, oh, sorry, close and load to where existing worksheet, but in F1, like this, and here is a result. So easy with Power Query.